Let's talk about why this patient looks yellow. So this yellow color is what we call jaundice in the medical field, and it's essentially a buildup of a pigment called bilirubin. So the normal process here is our red blood cells last about 120 days, and then when they break down, they release something called hemoglobin. This hemoglobin converts into bilirubin. Normally, the liver processes bilirubin. It's excreted through bile and leaves our bodies through our stool. But in the case of cirrhosis, the liver is so scarred and damaged, the liver can't properly take up or conjugate bilirubin and bile cannot be excreted. So then instead of leaving the body like it normally would, bilirubin ends up building up in the system and it shows as a yellowing in the body. So you'll see yellowing throughout the skin on mucous membranes and it even shows in the whites of the eye. They actually turn yellow. And then you would imagine with end-stage liver failure how intense the yellowing of the skin can be. Liver function at this point is almost completely lost. So essentially if you're a nursing student and you see a patient who has yellow skin, I want you to think cirrhosis or liver failure.